Hey yo. out here all right <clears throat> first time here for the stream sorry yes sir yes sir I have it on the minecraft loading page just to get it runs out there all right let's Ping the funny servers. All right. Uh. There we go. Pinged all my funny servers. Welcome on in. What is a language? It's uh, it's the the cat language. Look at this monument. It's a uh, cat speak. Lol cat. I, th I think it's called lol cat. But it is. It's in the game. So yeah, right here. Well, cat kingdom of cats. Yep, check me out. Bucket, bu bucket. Do I not have? Is it not called bucket in this thing? Uh, where would I find it? Ah, oh, she forgot. No, when you when you change languages, English doesn't work anymore. So I can't search like warped. See, it has to be however they spell it, so... Uh, water bucket, okay. <laughs> I got it right. Here, one second, let me plug in the headset. There we go. Bonk. Is it not called pickaxe? Oh, okay, it's just spelled. Right, here we go. Uh... There we go, look at that. Look at that. Hearn S plus. Yes, sir. What's good? Hello. Welcome back. I haven't seen you in a hot minute. Oh, we bridged the lag. All right. So today's stream, we have a tier list. I'm just waiting for the people to join on in. Because I know we got some people arriving, waiting on them to join. Early gang, though. Early gang. What? Okay. Yeah, but look at this. Observe. Hold on, where's OBS? Already set. Bang! Yo, we in the tier list. Yo, we in the tier list. Let's put the Harun at the S tier. Yes, sir. Could change all the stuff, but who cares? No, go away. So we have all of our structures here, or most of the stuff. I didn't count like end city because like that's not really speedrun related. I got stuff that's gonna help us out, like all the different stuff, all these things, all the different bastions, overworld villages, all that chest. This is buried treasure. That is buried treasure. Buried treasure is a structure. See, slash log man. 
slash locate and bury treasure is right there that's the structure okay oh you guys can't see what i'm doing hold on oops forgot about that yeah see so in here you could do slash locate buried treasure so it's it is a structure and then in this chunk here it's going to be right here so i mean if you can if if it spawns if it spawns in the world it's a structure like that if you can locate it we're counting it as a structure so that is why we have all that stuff. Let's see if we have a decent seed. Otherwise, yeah, we're just going to go straight to the tier list if this has nothing good. Otherwise, I mean, hey, I'm down to PB before the tier list. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Nah, garbage. Frick that. Oh, buried. A buried nether portal. You love to see it. Let's just check it out for the culture, you know? Bro. Taking all the fall damage. Yeah, so I have all the stuff ready to rank, and this is going to be a no opinions uh, taken, as in, I am not speaking in an opinionated form, I'm speaking mad facts, and everything I say is correct, and yeah, sorry, if you disagree, you're just wrong. So yeah, that's how it's running today. All right, let's pause this. Let's go on to the tier list. Oh, ho, ho, ho. but of course, here we are. So yeah, tier list equal funny, usually, occasionally, sometimes. All right, so, I mean, come on, where, where, do, we, where do we start this? Okay, also I realized that the way I have it set up, it's covering over Twitch chat. I'm an idiot, hold on one second. One second, it has to go underneath, go underneath streamline. There we go. All right, hold on. Just write something in chat and it'll like show up. Like, uh, or the pog as well, ayo. Is, is to check. Wait, where'd the tier list go? Did I put the tier list in the streamlab stuff? I did, I'm number one streamer actually. Do that. Hey, okay, finally. Oh my god. Not scuffed, not scuffed. Okay, here we go. Does the emote wall cover it? Nah, we'll be fine. Alright, so yeah. Here we go. Let's get started. So, I mean, hey, I think that we should start with the overworld stuff, right? Just, you know. Nice and simple. Let's start with the useless stuff. Uh, at immediate, can we add a tier? Hold on. Uh, let's just say S, okay, yeah, D. Okay, D tier, we're putting Igloo. Igloo. Uh, there is no purpose to this Igloo. It has like one fish, and I'm like, I'm talking about this stuff in like a general sense, like for also survival. It, it has pretty much nothing. It has the funny villager prison, but it has no redeeming qualities and it doesn't even always have the zombie villager prison. It's not even, it's not even a guaranteed thing to happen. Uh, I mean, I, I, mean, I, could, I could find like the, the percentage, but it's not a hundred. Uh, they, they sometimes spawn with no thing in it, which is a bruh. Yeah, it's only half. It's literally a 50-50. It's a 50-50 if you get a villager or not. Okay? And the loot's pretty garbage. The loot is really garbage. Alright? Uh, it has, the for the loot table, it has snow block, white carpet, red bed. The most insane loot you can get from this thing is a brewing stand and a villager. Yeah, maybe a golden apple. So that's why it's going in the D tier. All right, this thing is hot garbage. Nothing to offer. All right, let's move on. So guys like the carpet, man, I will, I will drop ship ten gazillion 
carpet to your house if you want it, okay? Don't ever go to a freaking igloo for this thing. All right. Up next, we have... Mm, let's go Berry Treasure. Berry Treasure is going to go at a solid... See, so now it depends, right? Because either it's insane, Heart of the Sea, really goaded, right? It's such an amazing... It's like a pretty much the sea beacon, right? You have water in your base, you need that Heart of the Sea, right? That's the only place you can get it. The loot table is really good most of the time. Uh, it's it's a really good structure overall. It's kind of solid. It's a 50-50 type vibe. So like this is the only way you can get like the beacon or the conduit. Okay, and and loot wise, you can get iron like 99% of the time. Gold, this is 88. Average per chest, 4 and 10 for gold and iron, respectively. And you got TNT in there. And you got diamonds, okay? So, which is why this is going to go in the A tier, okay? This is just a goaded structure overall. It has what you need. If you ever stumble across the shipwreck with a map, you're going to want to go for it, bro. It just has, It just has the stuff you want. All right, let's move on to um, my other my other structure, Desert Well. Desert Well, hold on. Igloo, you just got promoted. Desert Well, you are in the D tier. This thing is beyond Can we actually hold on? Can I make add row below? I'm going to call this I'm going to call this the remove please tier. All right, we're going to we're going to put you here and actually Igloo, you just got demoted, okay? N nobody loves you. Why is this in the game? Why is this, and you know what's even worse? What's even worse is that this technically doesn't even count as a structure because in, uh, there is a world option where you can disable, you can disable the spawning of all structures in the game. And no matter if you turn that setting on or not, these will spawn still. They will still come and haunt you. Okay, there's a 1 in 500 chance that a desert well pops up. So if you find a desert well, just know that you rolled a 1 in 500 and you got this terrible, terrible structure. Literally, it's in the remove please tier. Like, there's, there's just no redeeming qualities for it. Alright, and then I'd say, up next, let's put a good structure. Desert Pyramid is going to go in the A tier. Right, it has, it does what the desert well doesn't do. Right, it just has the TNT. It has the chance of god apples, enchanted books. Really, like, come on. Have you seen those manhunt videos? Just jump down, pray on a god apple spawning, and just chug it while you go through all the TNT blasts. Right, this is a clutch structure. If you see this. If you ever see this pyramid, this is not something you're walking away from. It's rather something you're running towards, right? This is why it's in the A tier. The only reason why I wouldn't put it a bit higher is that feeling. Is a feeling that when you go in and there's just a creeper and you die. Or you miss the landing and you die. Right? It, it does disappoint. And if you mess up, you can just destroy all your loot. Putting it... Are you putting buried treasure ahead? Okay, hold on. If we're also doing that, we're going to do this. Bang. Herobine Summoning is a tier. Nah, that would probably be like the S plus tier. Yeah, Bury Treasure in the same tier, but it's definitely going to go this way. Correct opinions. Correct opinions. Emily Blaster, that's the correct opinion. You know what should go in the, the Herobine Summoning tier? It should be... Uh, Probably end cities, but we're not going to rate end cities because they have no application to speedrunning. So this is like a general survival and speedrunning, but I feel like end cities just have no place because, I mean, unless you're doing all advancements, then if your name is Feinberg, but my name is not Feinberg, don't cancel me. All right. Now we have a good, we have a good pyramid. All right. Let's now move on to a the the younger brother you know the failed the failed sibling like, you know when your parents put like all your like that one parent that puts all their money in like one basket that one kid and then you this is the younger sibling what happened where did we go wrong why you 
it wants to be the jungle pyramid wants to be the desert pyramid but it will never be the desert pyramid right it has decent loot it has decent loot except you will never ever find one like has anybody ever just like walked into a jungle pyramid i think i've been playing minecraft since what 2011 2010 if you count pocket edition light edition right i i say i think the amount of times i've like just stumbled upon this thing is probably like three times maybe four right i i did once do a seed where i i used to do things like where i would get seeds for really good worlds and i would always try to get like the jungle pyramid seeds because i've never ever seen one only jungle pyramid I've ever seen is in paul soros jr's lp huh let's play oh okay so i'm that oh if this is a video cut it here so i don't look stupid oh it's in paul soros jr's let's play i mean yeah it's like that's what i'm saying it's so rare like it's it's decent it has redstone traps right it has like you know the funny tripwire hook and the tripwire hook will like you know shoot arrows at you that's kind of that's a cool concept i i will always respect structures with redstone in them but i just feel like the jungle pyramid is meant for the jungle you're not supposed to you're not supposed to like ever stumble upon it you have to go like out looking for it that's why it's it's in c all right let's move on to something also pretty useless uh, in the d tier we're gonna put the actually no 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 hold on hold on in the remove please tier we're putting this ocean monument like the not the ocean what's it called the ocean ruins i am now noticing that i did not put an ocean monument in the tier list uh hold on we can make this work <laughs> can i i mean i could just like overlay it it's fine uh, here we go save image as uh, pyramid. I was just like, oh, where's the other pyramid? Overlay, overlay. This is not scuff. This is not scuff. I repeat, why is my scroll bar on the side? What? Okay, let's add. Oh, that's good, Steven. All right, image. I'm going to call it pyramid scheme because that's what we're doing. All right, downloads. Pyramid. All right, oh, look at that high quality image. All right, you. You're staying here for now, all right? You're staying, you're staying there, all right? But the ocean, the... This ocean mine is actual, like, garbage, like, straight up. It has nothing to offer, literally nothing. Okay, now, now I have to, now I have to move the monument. Come on, man. It's fine. This is just the, this is just, like, the... What I deserve for not setting this up properly. Water. These things, if you're ever going in the ocean and you go stumble upon this thing, you are unlucky. And the remove please, you just need to add cool things or loot or decorative blocks. That's facts. This thing offers nothing. The best thing you'll ever get out of this like sandstone looking ocean monument is probably like a fishing rod with like lure two. Like, bro, I'm good on that, right? Like, what will look like? A fisherman? Man, I scam the fisherman so hard. I trade the, the the farmer's wheat to the farmer for emeralds, and with the same emeralds, I buy a bucket of fish, of cod, from the from the uh, the fisherman guy. I hate fishermen. I hate them. I scam the economy. Why would I ever go to one of these things? It's actually useless, right? It it has nothing. Uh, we're not gonna talk about the the setup time. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, this thing has nothing to offer, which is why it's in the remove please list. But a better version of it, but it's it's getting there. It's getting there. It's gonna be uh, the the darker stone brick ocean ruins. See, when I'm speed running, and I see magma bubbles, and I see broken kelp, I'm like, oh hey lava, and I'm like, okay chat, we got lava. We're gonna get a sub five minute enter. We're gonna get a sub four minute enter. Dude, Danny, I did not ask, bro. Holy, you just got your one-way ticket to going to hell. Banned. 
Yeah. All right. Anyway, uh, besides that, so yeah, these have like they have treasure maps in them. So the treasure maps are low-key good because you know why? Because you can go to these things, right? Look, it takes this to get to this, which is why it's better than the sandstone one. All right. It's just it's just facts. It's just the truth, objective facts. So yeah. That's why that's in D tier. Also, if you're looking for trident people, you can use these and get tridents. Other than that, it's pretty useless. It's just, it's just that's why it's sitting in D tier. If it had more loot, other than buried treasure maps, and if it spawned more guys, or I can like, you know, if it made it more of an incentive to make trident farms, I think it would be a C or a B. But the trident dudes you can just make in the middle of a cold ocean or a deep ocean, and. Uh, it's the exact same. So these are pretty useless. That's why it's D tier. Alright, moving on. Moving on. Hey, while we're on while we're on the oceans, I might as well use the funny overlay one. Ah, ha, ha. So the the this one, this ocean monument, this is a really solid structure, right? Like think about it. It has it has the good stuff. Objection hearsay. Excuse you. What hearsay? The only thing I can hear me saying is mad facts and you just got clipped on and I'm posting that on Twitter and I'm going to ratio and I'm going to at your mother in the tweet and you got clipped. Okay. Uh, there you go. Oh, yes. Yes. Correct the pins only. Yes. In the order. Oh, shoot. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I say this is about. Okay, yeah, hold on. Bang, you go in, you go in the garbage tier. Uh, this is about the same. Honestly, yeah. Ocean Monument, this is a this is a really good structure, right? Like this is like this is like you want to go here. Like you you go to that villager, you you like find that guy. You paid 10 gazillion dollars to buy that map from him, right? Like you you crash the entire market just to get one map or on the other hand you could just be like me and play speedrunning and you just get 10 of these and i just want shipwrecks which really annoys me but they're just so versatile they have gold for speedrunning they have sponges okay hold on that is a deal breaker they have sponges right sponge equals good right and you can defeat the elder guardian in there which is cool and it has prismarine and prismarine is kind of cool but the one thing i don't like about prismarine is that one time i was playing a parkour map and there were made like the walls of the parkour map was made out of prismarine blocks and i had animated textures on and then so i'm playing with my friends and then uh like i'm playing and the i'm like yo i'm tripping like is this walls like changing color all my friends like no no i don't i don't see it and I'm like, no, bro, I think I'm on something, bro. Like, the, the walls are changing. And I just sit there, I look at the wall, I'm like, oh, it's like changing color. And that was the day I learned that Prismarine changes colors because it's an animated texture, which is pretty cool, right? So you can get that trippy block from the Ocean Monument and has Elder Garden. That's the S tier. That's the S tier structure. You want to go there. I had to live stream, like, my, my screen in the VC. I'm like, guys... It's not just me, right? It's not just me. Can y'all see this? That was amazing, right? So yeah, that's that's an easy S tier if I've ever seen one. All right, so we got we got some good, pretty good ones. I think that's all the water ones, and Igloo is just frozen water. So yeah, we got the water ones. All right, let's see what we have next. I mean, no, we have all the ships. Uh, okay, we we could do the ships. Let's do the ships. So let's start off with Igloo's just frozen water. Yeah, like, bro, think about the guys who wear the Canadian hats. Like, how do they make the how do they make the the igloos? Right? They take this. They take the the frozen water. They put pack them into blocks, and they play Minecraft in real life. And then mine or they copied Minecraft because Minecraft originally made the igloos, right? Because they copied the blocks, which is why it's it's just it's just frozen water. All right, let's go to, let's go to, huh? Let's start with the, the regular boat. Like you know, this is this is just your regular boat, right? Like this is some captain. 
dude, I'm Canadian. I have no idea what you mean when you say Canadian hat. Okay, hold on, pause. You know what I'm talking about. Like the, uh, you know, the feathery hat, right? Uh, can, can they, I'm gonna Google Canadian hat. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Come on, man. Come on, man. You are fake Canadian. Man, you are fake Canadian. Hold on. Clip this kid. Image. Uh, I'm talking about. I'm talking about this. You feel me? If this is the type of this, the person who made the igloos definitely wore this, right? And that that's just me spitting facts, right? Like that definitely happened. All right. Anyway, uh, you're going away. Bye bye. All right. Back to tier listing. So, yeah. This is where did the boat go, guys? Where'd my boat? Hat tier list, I would do that. Oh, there it is. Okay, I lost the boat for a second there, it moved. So, the whole lore about boats is that, you know, it was like some random captain's boat and they crashed it because of course, they did not procure their driver's license in a similar manner as to how I have done. And they are dog water. And they, they probably partook in like the, captain, what? And then like ship, and it's like that one, the one meme of the, the, the ship like ramming into the other ship, and everyone's like screaming over their mics. That was amazing. This is like that dude ship, but they just, I don't know how the ship is so intact. Everybody just died, right? They didn't hit anything. Everything's intact. They just died. Captain, fuck, huh? And then everybody dies. But yeah, like how did how did the how was this boat intact so well, right? Like look at it, like it's just probably scurvy. I mean, I'd believe it, right? That's something that probably happened, right? But the thing about this boat is that it has wood. It has the so there's three main rooms in a boat. It has the the loot room, which is. Uh, it's it's this part right here of the boat the back of the boat the top level is the loot room and the bottom is the chest room the top one has iron and like all that stuff and the bottom one has the chest for the uh, the chest for the uh, hidden treasure right this thing and the front room has food right I don't know how that happened but I guess the front room has food so that you have to take that into account when we're doing these next few boats okay this boat is this is a tier boat because it has all the, the things that you need. In fact, you know what? Bump it up S tier. If you're going, if you're going in an ocean and you see this boat, you are you are in luck because the boat is like there to clutch for you. It, it has everything you need. It's perfectly intact. The guy who drove it probably was an L. He probably that guy was in the remove please tier. Like the, the captain of the boat was there. Also, I realized that the the overlay is funny, so I gotta I gotta go. Yeah. There we go. So yeah, that that's a good boat. All right, let's now let's talk about let's talk about a boat that's similar but not bad. It's gonna be this boat right here. So this boat, it has the entire front part of the boat is cut off like just somebody took a saw or they probably ran into like an iceberg like the titanic and the the front half is just gone so there's no wood there's no there's no wood there's no food it's just or they're empty another boat that's facts that's probably how all these other boats were made i guess just like hit each other and then one ended off like a thousand blocks this way and one's like a thousand blocks the other way probably so yeah, this this is like a B tier, right? If I find it, I'm like, yo, it's pretty good. Battleship, yo. If this is battleship, that means a person won because the enemy hit the front part of the boat and the other dude won the game, and this half of the boat just remained, right? So I mean, this is a winner of battleship, like GG, bro. It deserves a B, the B tier. So yeah, this is this is good. This is a good boat. Yeah, let's talk about a bad boat. D tier. It, ha it only has food and the food that like because it only is the front part of the ship the food that it has is literally rotten flesh wheat uncrafted bread and like i don't know carrots right come on i am not going out of my way to 
get this garbage boat, which like was in D tier, right? Then now now comes what we call the nightmare boats, right? So these boats are special because they're flipped. Because this is teaching me which boats have what stuff. Yes, front half good, back half bad. Now these boats are special because the guy who crashed the boat didn't just crash it. They like, they did some turn in the water and like it's on the side. I mean, probably gravity, you know. If y'all saw the the Uncharted movie where uh, they're looking for the boat, right? Like this is the boat right here, right? Or this could have been the boat. It's Raiden Shogun's fault. I believe it. Raiden Shogun probably just snapped all these people like Thanos with that Thanos colored hair. And now they're on their sides. So now let's determine what's good. This is a remove, please. Okay, so here's hear me out. This is the front half turned over. So it's the bad boat. It's a bad boat and it's made to inconvenience you because you can barely get in the boat and you're probably gonna drown getting into the boat because there's no air, there's no door. On the back part of the boat right there, that's a door. The door is gone. There's no door in the front half. You're just gonna drown and die for like three carrots. Remove. All right, and promptly following that is gonna be the completely upside down. Same thing, it's completely upside down. You can enter from the side, which is a little better. And you can enter from the side, but you're just entering faster to like three carrots and 15 rotten flesh. I don't care. Remove. And yeah, Desert Well is still the worst. Now let's go to this one. This is gonna be this is gonna be a C tier boat. We talking about structures? Yes. We're we're trying we're ranking all of these by usefulness. It's it's going good so far. This one right here is the 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 tilted back half uh shipwreck. So this one, it's it's all right because it has the buried treasure map. It has the loot, like the iron and stuff, but the door is broken. The, the door is gone. Use this general survival and speedrunning. Yeah, that's the theme. So it, it doesn't have the door, so you're probably going to drown. Also, the entrances are from the top and the side, so there's no air at all. I don't think about boats in Minecraft. Dude, I've... I have gone into way too many boats. I I could probably have my boating license better than these sh failed uh, pirates who somehow died. And now I'm looting their dead corpse of a boat. Oh, captain, my captain. Oh, captain. So yeah, this one is, is all right. This one's better because this one, it's upside down. The, the buried treasure is sometimes like gone, but we're not gonna talk about it. I don't wanna talk about it. Uh, <laughs> and there's a door, usually, usually. So that's that's a good boat. It's not as good as this one, cause it's the goat, the goat boat. One could say the goat boat, but this is all right. It's not. It's nothing near the perfect boat, but it's, it's there. All right, so that's all the, all water structures done. So yeah, we have, just to recap, we have the, the best boats, uh, S tier. We have the buried treasure, we have the pyramid and also another justification for S tier. This amazing boat will lead you to the A tier, right? That's just amazing. This this thing, this awful structure is not in remove just because it can lead you to here. Come on. That's why it's not in here. That's why you're here because you don't do what this guy does. Igloo, 50-50 of it being good. I don't need the carpet. Um, if Pearl if Topaz needs it, go crazy. Mine all the carpets, but you can make carpets. You can literally make a carpet duper. If you take four slime blocks and three carpets, you can infinitely duplicate carpets. There is no need to go to this igloo for carpets. Please. No more. Jungle structure. Yeah. It's like whatever. It's like this thing, but worse. It has redstone. That's kind of cool. If I had the deep dark on here, deep dark would be S tier. Speed running wise, it's a nightmare. Literally is a nightmare. You have that darkness effect. But the loot is insane, and it has redstone, which is cool. I say we should probably finish up overworld stuff. Let's go to portals. Portals are interesting. Uh, let's start with you know, the classic. The classic portal, right? Now, this thing is good because it usually has obsidian. You know, it has a, maybe a couple tools in there, like pickaxes. Or, you know, it has gold blocks, which is nice. You can make gold armor before you go to the nether, rather than while you're in the nether. Right? 
but it doesn't have any lava so if you were to go try to speed run the game you can't finish the portal this is whatever so i'll put it in c it's 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 whatever right and i'm not gonna say no to it like these ones but yeah just i just don't i don't see it and i'm probably gonna do this yeah that makes sense that makes about right sense and then because this is ordered this is in fact ordered and then the let's see what's next okay we have the lava the lava portal so the portal is completely useless because it's submerged in lava but it has usually three gold blocks a chest which is good and you can make a portal you can make a portal without lava that's that's king stuff right there you missed a tier list no you're but in the middle of the process you are not missing it you are partaking in it welcome flex so yeah this this one you can make you know you can make the speedrunner portal you can get into the nether we're exactly halfway dude that's like how counting works i don't know how to count bro i need water oh my god Ugh. yes so okay this is the one true tier list you must even my boy you are a hundred percent correct i don't think anybody out there would make a better tier list than me just saying uh up next we have big bertha now big bertha is big right big bertha is big but the problem with big bertha is big bertha is too hard to navigate around this it's a chore like i will get my loot but the obsidian is completely useless you're not going to finish that portal like with this one you could still like gamble and get enough obsidian with this one maybe with this one no shot i'm putting this at a low eh, high d tier the chest is also sometimes not there i don't know why but yeah sometimes the chest is just gone and then i have to like run away and restart my run and it's just a waste of time it's a high d tier i think this order makes about sense yeah it's nowhere near close to this loot next we have the staircase elevated broken portal now this one is this is going to be a low b it's not good like it has the chest the obsidian is also pretty much useless there's no building this thing the slabs are in the way but there is just enough lava to make a portal if you mess up though you're kind of screwed but it has just enough lava to make a full portal or you could stack the lava on here and make a really messy portal i personally don't like doing that because it's slower in my opinion but my opinion is 100 percent correct which is why i'm putting it at a little b tier is that yeah that's all the lava structures done so yeah we have pretty solid lineup here the boats look at the boats got good diversity here sand structures okay 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 all right let's see what we have next i think we should do villages villages are where it's at because villages are a hundred percent like they're so different like these things they're all different from one another in very small ways like oh this one has lava this one doesn't or this one has like iron and this one doesn't have iron right think about villages that they're completely different from one another right like one village versus another village is makes the whole difference right so i think we should start out with the plains village the plains village and or if you have a plains village that spawns half in a swamp you can get a swamp village which fun fact there are swamp villagers in minecraft like if you spawn a villager in the swamp it'll become a swamp villager but there is no swamp village right so if you get a plains village to merge the swamp biome it looks kind of sick that's just me fangirling over plains villages and they have uh they have the the block the what's come on what's the name it has the blacksmith and it's easy to tell the blacksmith in these villages versus spruce villages because in spruce villages there are grindstones to tell you where the blacksmith is the blacksmith's house has a grindstone outside of it two of them on the left, left and right side of the door in the plains village it has a furnace and it's the only house that has a furnace the other furnace house in the new updates has a blast furnace instead of a regular furnace you know the clay house the clay house with the brick floor and the weird ceiling and like bar type ish window yeah that house 
now has a blast furnace, so you can tell which house is the smelting house and which house is the the blacksmith on your F3 menu, which makes this really versatile for speedrunning and just overall is pretty nice. And this village has a higher chance of spawning food like wheat than any other village. This one spawns watermelon and wheat. This one spawns pumpkins and wheat. This one just doesn't spawn wheat. So, and this one also spawns wheat and usually nothing and cactus, I guess. So this is a, this is an S tier. We're going to move it past the boat actually. That's an amazing structure. If you go to a plains village, it's so underrated. Nobody cares about the plains village. Everybody sleeps on it. Everyone says, oh, it's just another village. I love plains villages. Right? I am a plains village defender, right? The only thing that is a bit of a drawback is that there are green villagers, and I hate green villagers, but every village has green villagers. And, and at least this village makes it easier to figure out who's a green villager or not because all the other villages have like cringe uh not cringe just weird clothing and the green villagers can blend in now this is bad because if i'm trying to massacre all the green villagers i can't do it easily in the plains village i can do that easily because i know what color clothes they're wearing that's why they're helping me in my green villager genocide i'm probably gonna have to censor that for youtube or i'm gonna demonetize but i can say it on twitch aha good platform but yeah <laughs> so the green villager massacre occurs more in the plains village which is good for me and this is a video of course content mogul moves put it on tiktok as well put it on twitter why should you i'll put it on twitter <laughs> all right back to the tier list so, yeah, s tier village all right now let's move on to a, a bit of a worse village let's, let's go to the desert now, the desert, I don't mean to undermine the desert village, but the problem with the desert village is that there are no, there's no wood. None of the houses are made out of wood. None of, there are no trees nearby. You can only find dead bush for sticks. There's a crafting table, but there's no wood. So what's the point if you can't make like a wood pickaxe, a wood axe, wood tools to kill anything, right? It, it doesn't make sense. Uh, also, they don't spawn food as often, but it's in the desert. <laughs> no dead bush gaming, bro. Every time I go to a dead like a, a, a desert village, I'm playing dead bush gambit. Okay, watch me with these chess moves out here, like breaking all the dead bush and getting trees beforehand. Right. So the thing is that this village is carried by other biomes. If there's another biome there, it's a good village. If it's just isolated in the middle of a desert, it's bad. But there is lava nearby, right? So speedrunning wise, like if there's lava pool, you're in. It's hard to find a lava pool in this village. Uh, the iron golem, I guess, exists. The ground is easier to break, which is nice because if the iron golem is chasing you, you can break three sand quicker than three dirt. Okay, I'm trying to run away. That guy, that guy, for me, I'm on sight for iron golem. When he sees me, bro, well, he's swinging, right? Three blocks range, I'm dead, right? At least this village, the desert village, is going to get me out of there, right? I need to get out of there, Pierre moment, and this village is doing it for me. It's going to win the A tier. Also, it sometimes has food, not all the time. I can't scam the villagers easily in this village because they don't, like, make food as often. But it's a good village. Uh, let's go to the, uh, let's go to the Acacia village. Acacia village. Oh, Acacia village. I have a problem with these guys. So, every time... I see an acacia village. I'm gonna be real. I'm confessing, right? I'm gonna confess. Every time I see an acacia village on my radar when I'm speedrunning, I reset the world. I don't think twice to reset on an acacia village, okay? I will leave as fast as I can when I'm speedrunning. I don't want to go here. These, these guys offer me nothing. It's literally a 2080. If it's gonna like be a good village it'll either have watermelon i'm not trying to eat watermelon in a speed run that thing gives me like half a heart a heart man i need that bread i need that dough right my the the number one thing my teacher taught me in school the the best thing my teacher taught me was keep your eyes on your own paper right because i'm chasing that bag i cannot chase that bag in the acacia village 
right? The villages are whatever. The terrain is garbage. There is no loot. There is no blacksmith. There is nothing redeemable. This is going to go in the low C. All right. All right, and then next is, I guess, the Spruce Village. Half a meat pop, oh, bro. The Spruce Village is like a whatever village. It's it's a good village. It's it's definitely up there, right? It's it's like about the same with Desert Village because it's not in the desert. The loot is probably not as good as the Desert Village, but there's wood. There's literally a house in spruce villages that give you like 8 wood, 10 wood, 12 wood and you can just craft logs instantly and the beds are cooler colored, they're like purple the beds are purple in uh, spruce villages they're either white or yellow in this village, the plains they're either yellow or green sometimes red I think in these ones, no red's for this one and this one, no these are orange but these ones are purple and I'm a big purple guy so it's up there. I like the color scheme. Uh, spruce, they usually have pumpkins as food, which is a bit worse than acacia because I mean, hey, I'd rather take watermelon or pumpkin. It's something. But the loot difference is crazy because they have armor smiths just like out everywhere. You can just get a full set of iron armor just going to one of these villages, which is why it's in the low A tier, I'd say. Better than this, of course. All right, let's move on to the worst village. This does, this shouldn't exist. This this village shouldn't. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Like it offers nothing other than beds and villagers. The iron golem doesn't even spawn sometimes. Personal against ice biome. I love the ice biome. I, I love that blue ice. I love that packed ice for when I'm making farms in the nether. It's a good biome. The structures are so terrible. Like, why did Mojang have to give such L structures to the, the snow biome? Come on. So, it's just, it doesn't offer anything. The food is pretty mid. You'll find like soup. I don't like that. You also have blue beds. Blue beds are like cool, but it's not as cool as purple beds. And uh, what else? It's snow. I don't like the snow. It it's terrible for speedrunning. It has it offers nothing for speedrunning. Actually, the meta is you, if you see snow, you reset. Like you click that, you click that button fast, faster than Acacia. Which is why it's in remove. Please, I don't want it. I, I take it away. And I guess if we want to finish the overworld, they don't have resources to be cool in the snow. Excuse you, excuse you. Hold on. Do you remember, do you remember my friend from earlier? Do you remember my friend from earlier? This guy. This guy got it done. This guy got it done. Look what he made. He made an igloo. He made an igloo. He adapted. He coped to the environment. He worked hard. He even got two villagers when he made the igloo. The ice villagers, they did nothing. They just made a funny little house. And nothing after that. They don't care about research development for their future. Which is why they're in the remove pleased here. So yeah. That's the ice village. <laughs> Can't wait to make the Haruntulus out of context. Oh my god. I'm going to get clip champed. Put on Twitter. Cancelled. Uh, I think we should just finish overworld. Um, Witch hut. Okay. Now this might be a controversial take. Like... Maybe very controversial. But Witch Hut. Witch Hut's going a low B. The Black Cat spawns in Witch Huts. That's cool. The Black Cats are always cool. Uh, and naturally spawning witches. You can make a witch farm from this. And to do so, you remove all mob spawning spaces from like nearby the spawn radius of all mobs and then you make a big pit and then you make like a little magma cube layer or magma block layer <laughs> not the mob 
the block. And then you can make you can make a witch farm. That thing drops feathers, bottles, redstone, glowstone. Come on. That's good. Potions, like literal potions. Come on. This has so much potential. It's a sleeper. It's a sleeper pick. Nobody thinks about the swamp. Right? This is this witch hut is single-handedly representing all of the swamp. There is no swamp village. There is no swamp village. There is no swamp structure. You come for the slime and you leave with the witch hut. Okay? That is just how how it rolls. So yeah. The the swamp hut is pretty good. And then let's see. Uh, if we want to just finish off the overworld, we could probably go outpost. Outpost would be like, let's see. Outpost is like whatever. It's it's probably a low C because I mean, okay, actually no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Crank it up, bang. Let's talk about raid farms. Let's talk about all that loot. Let's talk about the iron golem. It has so much loot at the top. Like you can get iron, just straight wood, like the, like the spruce village copying. I mean, it has that color palette, right? It has good stuff. Like genuinely, it has decent loot. It has iron golem sometimes outside with a hay bale. You can make food. And if you take it apart, you can make a raid farm that drops like totem of undying emeralds, uh, you know, good loot. So definitely, a high C. It's a bit more effort. It's like the same with th these two are kind of in the same area. A little better because it has the it has the funny swamp representation and I love swamps. And these are just annoying because the pillagers can actually like, kill you, which is can't kill you as easily as pillagers, especially if there's like twenty of them. Like these guys are probably just like maul you over. So yeah. Mm. Well, while we're on the topic of pillagers, we have the. Woodland Mansion. Now the Woodland Mansion, the Woodland Mansion is like the rite of passage in a Minecraft world, right? Like, you can defeat the Ender Dragon, you can def go to the End City, you can do all that funny stuff. But like, you know you did a world good when you went to the Woodland Mansion. When you buy that map from the guy, and you, you and your friends, you know, you, you buy the map, you set off on your amazing journey. The goal is come home maybe right coming home is not a priority right your priority is just to get to the woodland mansion at all costs right so it's it is yeah it is like the structure that you want to go for which is why i think this is going to be probably like a high b even maybe a low A. Definitely not loot wise as good as the others. It has the wool rooms, right? Where they the pillagers try to imitate the villagers. You can actually hold on pause. This should go like here. The loot difference is too crazy. Because you get the you get the totem of undying, right? That's just OP. Right? Come on. You you meet you meet the funny the guy who the vexologist is that his name? He he controls the vex and he has like the little chomper clomper guys who eat you. He has that guy. So I mean, Woodland Mansion is probably definitely up there. Like you know you did, you know you had fun in Minecraft when you and your friends go to Woodland Mansion. Like that is the goal. You want to make it there. All right, let's see. Let's just finish. Okay, no no no. It should be in speed and order. Let's do stronghold last. Cause I have hard feelings towards the stronghold. All right, let's start with the bastions. Bastion from Overwatch. Uh, mm, let's see. Eighty percent of the tier list is overworld. <laughs> How would be? Okay, come on. There's five structures in the Nether. I could have put the nether portals, but like the broken portals in the nether, it's the exact same. I'm not going to repeat it twice. That's the only other structure they got, man. I could do a biome tier list. I might do a biome tier list next, just how 
put like ice at like negative 15 <laughs> and jungle like near it <laughs> no but jungle has parrots okay no tier list for structure not biomes another stream but yeah the let's start with the bastion this is bridge bastion bridge bastion bridge bastion is a high a tier all right let me let me tell you why all right actually pause let's put that at s tier that's a s tier bastion it has the gold it has the loot there's less rng related to the bridge bastion because it has the 13 guaranteed gold blocks or 14 17 if you include the ones on the wall when you go up to do uh dip route and it has chance for double chest on both sides and a guaranteed one chest next to the dip route hole so it is an s tier bastion it has everything you want then let's go to the worst bastion introducing uh stables i hate stables every time i wake up i like you know there's like a reason why people wake up in the morning right people like okay i need to go to school i need work right i need to live but the thing that keeps me from doing those things is stables bastion okay stables bastion is ruining my life it's it's just terrible. It's a terrible bastion. We're gonna put we're gonna put stables. We're putting stables. I think this I forget which one's stables. <laughs> it's mad embarrassing. Hold on. Oh no. Oh no. Uh bad speedrunner. I can't tell. I can't tell. Okay, the one with two. This is... This is... Stables. Yes, yeah, stables. Stables remove. We're gonna see three blocks of a bastion. Yeah, that's a bridge bastion. We see the whole structure. Oh? Uh? Okay, come on. Come on, man. I'm seeing like three pixels here. I'm seeing three pixels right here. <laughs> I gotta zoom in. Oh, that is the wrong comb tab. I gotta like zoom in. Yep, that that's that's it. Hey, that's my Twitter. You should follow it. All right, bad bastion. Uh, it, it it infuriates me. It makes me angry that it exists. So yeah, it's definitely gonna be in remove, please. It's too random. There's there's no structure to it. It's it's actually better than everything on here. Move the seed temple. Oh, that's facts. Facts. Factuality. Oh, I just moved something else. There we go. Uh, what am I doing? There we go. There we are. So yeah, that's that's going there. Next we have next we have stables. Now stables, as the name says, is the most stable bastion. It has the lowest amount of RNG. If you see a stables bastion and you see another one, it's gonna have the exact same routing, chests. It's it is stable, right? It's also called housing. No, no, no. oh my, oh my god, I am. I'm retiring. I need a stream right now. I no way I did that. Oh my god. I called housing stables. I'm a, I'm putting I'm putting this in the Haroon bad. And I'm putting myself in that tier. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna act like it didn't happen. The VOD will never show it. The edited video will never show it. <laughs> but housing. Housing is what stable wants to be. It's consistent. It never changes. It has amazing loot. It has three chests guaranteed. It's just everything you want. No, I did not make a mistake earlier. And no, nobody saw it. No, the chat is not putting bruh. That is not happening. Let it, let's put this, let's put this at a high B tier. So yeah. That's that's like a B tier bastion. It's nice. It's definitely nice. 
Next we have next we have uh, Lurker's join. No, <laughs> do not bully. This is facts. This is factual tier. Next we have Treasure Bastion. A Treasure Bastion. It, every time I go to Treasure Bastion, either I die or I get world record. Right? There's no in between. There is no winning. Flannel, no. <laughs> don't don't get peer pressured. <laughs> I can't believe you've done this. Not from you, Flannel. <laughs> also, you have the emote. Pog, Pog, Harun Pog, Harun Bra. Sub to the Twitch, everybody, right now. Yeah, but this is a good Bastion. Uh, I either die or I don't. The one, the one thing that annoys me is that when you, when you pull up the amount of entities in the world, like uh, the block entities in the world, uh, and you're looking for a fortress, right? The fortresses have spawners, so they're looking for a structure that has spawners. So every time you see, okay, there's this one spawner on my radar, you think it's a fortress. Sometimes, or not sometimes, this bastion has a magma cube spawner. Which Mojang developer was like, okay, another day at the office. Swedish people, am I right? All right, uh, 1.9 happened. Everybody stop playing the game. How do we redeem ourselves? All right, nether update. All right, nether update. What are we going to put? Bastion. All right, why should we put in the Bastion? Well, let's put a let's put a magma spawner. Why? There's no lore. The piglins have no relationship to magma cubes. Lore-wise, it makes no sense. Speedrunning-wise, it annoys me. But, but, it's pretty good. <laughs> I, I can't lie. It's a pretty nice bastion. It I love the routing. It's really funny because you start from down in the lava moat, and you get a chest on the side that's like 50-50, and then you bridge up onto the bridge. There's a bridge that connects like these two areas, and you like bait the piglins, and then you go up the staircase. It's it's so fun. It's a fun bastion. It's not a good bastion, it's a fun bastion. I'm putting it right behind. I'm putting it right behind. Uh, housing. I'm putting it right behind housing. It's a good bastion. It has room for improvement, but it's fun. It's fun. Uh, okay, we're down to the final two. Let's just finish off Nether Fortress. Nether Fortress, that's the highest A tier. Um, if you go, if you're playing Minecraft, right, and you see a Nether Fortress, either one of two things happen. One, you run away because you're not prepared, or two, you just get insanely rich, okay? That thing has diamonds as loot table. It has, it, you can get nether warts. You get the blaze. You make the potions, right? Potion brewing. All of a sudden, you can make potions in Minecraft because of this structure. The blaze spawner, pretty goaded. Uh, speed running, you need that. So no, no thing about it. The one thing is that the spawning algorithm changed for, uh, for fortresses previously. Uh, fortresses would only spawn on a north-south uh, basis, where uh, no, no, it was it was east-west lines going north-south. So, hold on, how do I just need a picture? Uh, another fortress. Like it's hard to explain, but basically, you would never find a fortress going north-south. You always had to go east-west, and then once you found a fortress, you could go north-south to find another one, right? It was insanely funny. The algorithm for it spawning was completely broken. Like, it was completely busted. Uh, let me see if I can pull up an image. I'm probably gonna pull one in the YouTube video. But, it's, it's pretty funny. Can I not find one? Is this seriously happening? Okay, it's, it's not showing up on Google images. This is so tough. Oh my god. Oh, is it here? No. Oh, I found it. Wait, I found it. Yeah, here we go. It's senior sunrise tomorrow, so I'm gonna take a fat nap. One last bro for the road. Dang. Senior sunrise kind of funny though.
Uh, let's see. Can I can I pull up the image? Polly, can we pull up the image? Polly says yes. Uh, fortress, yes. Oh my god, that's big. It's big. Uh, save. Look at this. Look, okay, wow, first of all. What just happened? Uh, bear with it. Look at the 1.15 spawning algorithm. Look at this thing. Heard Polly? Out of you know who? Oh, <laughs> Got one. Got one. <laughs> Polly. Polly. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this! Such a goofy spawning algorithm. They're all like up down lines, right? That's kind of that's kind of funny. Oh my god, 150! And look what happened once it ah, it broke. There is no more structure. Like, look at this. This is so fun. And then the, and this because of course bastions existed. Now, if you go to zero zero here, uh, you can see the four quadrants. How there's like two next to each other, and there's probably two bastions here. So yeah, overall funny. Uh, solid 15 out of 75. Funny structure. And now, worst for last. The stronghold. Stronghold? Okay, we gotta talk. What's going on? You know, like Gordon Ramsay, he's like, oh, What's going on? Let's talk. Why is it raw? What's going on? And then he, like, verbally berates somebody into the like, tears in his studio. That's what we're doing with the stronghold. What is wrong with you? Strongholds are the most like bipolar structure. Either it's like insanely good and you'll find the portal or it will completely throw you off and it will spawn a portal completely cut off from the actual stronghold. You could run in an endless circle forever and you will never find the room because the room is cut off from the main structure in some random cave which is completely unfair and it's just it's just bad but the loot is kind of good you can get diamonds you can get food like let's say you're running out of food just go to the stronghold it's okay you'll get more food at the stronghold if you run out of ender pearls like you only rolled 11 and you left on 11 for some reason and you didn't throw any other pearls you can probably get like two or three from a stronghold you're fine uh Lots of lots of good loot. There's a lot of mobs, which is scary. There are a lot of hidden rooms, which is kind of dumb. Routing this thing is a nightmare. You have to count your rooms you go in because there's a higher chance of room spawning between like six and ten, and it drops. It's like a it's like a sign graph. Like you know where it goes like it goes like a we we and then we right. So imagine you only had this part of the sign graph, right? Imagine it's like a Cosine x minus 1, right? At cosine x minus 1, it starts at the bottom, go all the way up, and then down, right? That's like your chance to find the room. It goes, start 0, 1, up, up, okay, right, 7, 8, 9, 10, and it drops down, right? This is terrible. Why am I using, why am I using mathematics to ju justify my point? Uh, yeah, this thing, this thing is like kind of whatever. Uh, it is a rite of passage similar to the Woodland Mansion. So, you know, we'll put it, we'll put it like here. We'll put it like there. That seems about right. So yeah, uh, I think this looks good. I don't think I need to change anything. I think this is nice. Yeah, I think I justify everything in here. If I, if I get mugged tomorrow and somebody points a gun to my head and says, make a tier list right now, I think I'd put in the exact same order, honestly. Nah, uh, I'm just that, I'm just that correct. That even if a killer Threaten me. I think I get this. Yeah. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. So yeah. And on that note, I'm gonna end the stream here because we've we've done it. We've reached the perfect tier list. No one else can make a more perfect tier list than this. Physically impossible. Uh like, subscribe if you agree. Like and subscribe if you don't agree. Uh because if you don't agree you're wrong. And you need to learn, so come to my stream more often and you'll learn. Because I'm correct. So yeah. On that note, I leave. Join the Discord. Follow all of my socials. Selling out now. Yes. Yes, join. Join the social media. And I'll see y'all later. I know tomorrow's Friday. Friday equals free viewers. So pull up, please.
dies cutely. <laughs> All right, I'll see y'all later then. Bye. Let me take a screenshot. Eh, yep, this is where my cringe comp Lois. Eh. I can just save this. Come on, man. Uh, title of tier list, your mother. A description, uh, your father. Save. Oh, it's like an actual thing. I can share it on Twitter. Oh, that's gonna bring me to Twitter. Uh, <laughs> we leave. I am trying to dox my email. Live. Ain't gonna happen. Follow my Twitter. See ya.